Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Home Style Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today, I'm going to share a sambar recipe. You know, a lot of viewers were requesting to share sambar recipe of my variation. So, I thought of sharing this very, very simple sambar recipe. But today, we are going to add some pumpkin. Pumpkin is very, very good for health. Daily eat a small piece of pumpkin. Try to have one piece of boiled pumpkin. I do that. So, dear friends, let's start how to make this pumpkin sambar. Pumpkin is an optional. If you want, you can add pumpkin or if any vegetable also, if you want, you can add. Today, I'm just using the pumpkin. I'm making the sambar. So to make the sambar, first we are going to dry roast some ingredients. We are not going to use the sambar powder. I'm going to make the powder. So here is the chana dal and some coriander seeds, peppercorns, dry red chilies. We are going to slightly dry roast these and we are going to make a powder out of this. So here in another pan, we are going to start off making our, you know, thadka for the sambar. Either you can put thadka in the last or, you know, before also. Take some oil. If you want ghee also, you can use. And once the oil is hot, mustard seeds and fenugreek seeds. Once they splutter, we are going to add finely chopped ginger curry leaves and green chilies. So meanwhile, here you can see these are dry roasted. I'm going to switch off the flame and transfer this into a blender. So here is the blender. A small, small teaspoon you can use and you can make an excellent samba powder immediately. So this I'm going to make a powder. So friends, in the blender you can add finely grated coconut and here in the pan we are going to add curry leaves, green chilies, and in this, we are not going to add any onions. If you want, you can add shallots. If you want, you can add, you know, roughly chopped onions also. But today, I am not using any onions. I am directly using the pumpkin. Here the pumpkin, if you see, I cut the pumpkin into big, big pieces. You know, we are making a sambar. So, I want to see the pumpkin pieces. That's why I added little bit bigger pieces. If you want, you can cut it into little bit small. Add some turmeric also. Salt. Mix it and we are going to cover this with a lid and we are going to cook this pumpkin in the oil first and after 2 to 3 minutes we are going to add the tamarind juice and then we are going to cook till our pumpkin is nice and soft. So friends, after just 2 to 3 minutes, you know pumpkin won't take much time to cook. Now we are going to add the tamarind juice. You can use as per sarnas. I have taken 1 cup of dal so I am using 1 cup of tamarind pulp. You can increase as I said and we are going to add very little water and now we are going to let this cook in this tamarind juice for another 3 to 4 minutes and then we are going to add the dal and here I have the paste which I blended it. You can add little water and you can make a fine paste or even rough paste also but fine paste is good. So friends after 3 to 4 minutes of slow simmering you can see it is cooked. See. Don't overcook it, otherwise this will get mashed. And now we are going to add the dal. Check, you know, as per thickness, you can add the dal and even the sarnas also. You know, sambar won't take much time. And that too with pumpkin sambar, even very fast it will become. And we are going to add this paste, coconut and, you know, dry roasted ingredients. Increase the flame and cook it. Dear friends, we added very less salt. Now we are going to add the salt. Check the taste and then increase your salt. Don't add too much. Now I am going to just check the taste first. And I am going to simmer this for, you know, 5 minutes or even less than that also you can simmer this. Mm. Wow. Nice sour. Not too sour. Perfect sourness. If you cook the pumpkin in the tamarind, what will happen is, this pumpkin will be in shape and it won't cook over. Otherwise, if you cook it in the oil too much, then your pumpkin will be totally mashed. So, difference, just add some more water. It is nice and thick. So, I am going to let this simmer for 3 to 4 minutes and our dish will be ready. Pumpkin sambar is ready. See, it is holding its shape and you will get nice sourness to your pumpkin also. In the last, just garnish with some coriander. I love to have this with rice and today I made some idlis. So I am going to keep this sambar for you know idlis. 
Dear friends, whenever I make sambar, and that too with idlis, you know, we just have only the sambar. Even Sanjay loves to have sambar just like that. Mm. Nice sar. Not too sar, but perfect. Like a regular, you know, hotel style sambar. Mm. I added some peppercorns. I'm getting the peppercorn flavor. And even the coconut. Coconut is also giving an excellent flavor. And dear friends, if you want, you can add very, very little of even jaggery or sugar for that, you know, sweetness. You know, my son, if I make sambar, he will take it in a big bowl and add lot of sugar and he will love to have just like that. So dear friends, whichever way you want to enjoy this simple sambar, make it and feed your family nice and fresh at home. I hope you enjoyed this very, very simple sambar recipe that too with pumpkin. If you like it, make it, share it and also feed your family fresh, fresh food. See you in another session with some more recipes.